Good morning. It is November 2nd, 2014, and I'm going to go through a simple exercise to build a WX splitter window using code blocks version 13.12 using GCC on Linux, although this works equally well on Windows, and using WX widgets version 3.0.1. Additionally, I'll be using WX Smith GUI Builder, and I'll explain that in a moment. To start, we create a new project. All the way over to the right, you'll find the WX Widgets icon in the templates. If you do not have this, you can go no further. You need to get your environment set up to use WX Widgets. At this point, I use version 3.0.x, and I'm going to call this splitter window example. It doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't matter where you store it on your hard drive. The extension will be CBP, and the resulting file name will be based upon these three blanks. This is me. If you need to get in touch with me, you can email me here. For this particular project, I'm using WX Smith. I have not tried WX Form Builder, but from what I have read, it is simpler to use than WX Smith. Once you get used to WX Smith, it's not so bad. So, also the application will be frame based. For these, I use GNU, uh, works fine for me. These were the defaults, I'm just going to go ahead and use those. And finally, I believe these are also the defaults. I have no advanced options that I need, and I definitely don't want an empty project because I want to start with what they give me. So here we are, this is what they give me. They give me a WX frame, which is here. And notice that it is selected, and that by that is meant that I have these little black boxes surrounding it. Additionally, I have a file pull-down menu, uh, more than file, it's the full menu system, and I have a status bar at the bottom. If I click Run and Build, it should pop up with a running window. Check it out. File, Quit, and Help about and here I am I'm using WX widgets 3.01 on Linux using Unicode fantastic now WX splitter window is a layout tool widget thing so go into your layout and here it is WX splitter window to put this into our frame we need to use one of these methods on the right. There is insert new widget using the mouse. There's into the current selection, before the current selection, or after the current selection. I typically use one of these three. Into, before, or after. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the into. And what that means is whatever I choose as a widget will go into the currently selected. Well, how do I know? I see these little boxes and stuff, but what is this? Well, it shows me here it's WX frame because it's currently highlighted. So if I click on this WX splitter window, bam, notice how this grayed out. Notice how WX splitter window is here. Now, I would call this, if this was a real application, I'd call it splitter window something. Uh, like main or something like that but for the sake of this let's continue a splitter window allows me to put in two sub windows basically what it does is splits a window into two that's the idea that's the concept so I'm gonna go to my standard tools my standard widgets and round about over here this unassuming little box is a WX panel and I want to put that into the current splitter window now what's highlighted well something is oh it is the splitter window 
and I want to put it into the current selection. So I click on it and bam, notice it changed and now I've got little dots there and sure enough underneath in here is the panel but that's only half of the story I need to have two panels so what I want selected is the panel and this time I want to insert the new widget after the current selection the, this panel is selected and I want it to come after I want it to be in the splitter window but I want it after panel one so I click and bam do you see what I did there panel one panel two panel one panel two fantastic right now it's horizontally the sash runs left to right horizontal okay I want it to go top to bottom so I click on splitter window and notice in the properties it says horizontal I want it to say vertical fantastic and for the sake of argument I want one of them to be a uh, background color of I don't care just something different from what it is and I'll go ahead and choose background of hey there's this nice blue fantastic let's save just so I don't get too far without with losing my work and build and run and let's see what happens well here we are and here's my sash I can move it left and right fantastic I can resize the window fantastic now the next step that I want to do is I want to see where the sash is after I've moved it I want an actual number I want in pixels tell me program I want you tell me what number is fantastic right so I'm gonna to go to the splitter window and I'm going to go to this braces thing see how it says events it gives me four possible events what are those events well the one that I care about is the position changed not while it's changing but after it's changed and I'm going to choose to add a new handler I don't really care what it's called as I told you I probably would have renamed this if this was a real application but for all intents and purposes this is perfect so I'll just hit OK it pops up the code the CPP code OK great scroll all the way to the bottom and it shows me I'm already there it's already highlighted here's the event that I just added the handler the event handler that's what I wanted so here's where we do a little coding what I want to do is I want to pop up a message box so let me start off with a little string wx string message is equal to sash position is and that looks good I want the sash position so MSG let's do a little C++ goodie and event dot get sash position which returns an integer and I want it to look nice so I will put one of those and the final thing is I want to send out a message box WX message box BAM okay uh, I'll send the message as WX string and I don't know I'll give it some sort of a, um, a title of this is the sash coordinate and that should work now how did I find out what the command for a message box was well they gave it to me remember it, it gave me the build information that's part of it well that's you know fantastic it's like they give you this stuff 
Okay, let's save it, save often, and let's see what happens. A lot of compiling goes on. Oh, look at that. It told me the sash position is at 198. Well, wasn't really expecting that right away. Um, if this was a real application, I would probably trap for that first firing of the event on load. Uh, but you know, this is just one of those handy application examples. So now I'm going to move it and I'm going to move it to about 80% and it says 304. And now I'm going to go about 50% and it's 205. Let's bring it all the way down to the bottom. Sash position is 10 and all the way to the right and sash position is 380. Okay, so here's something interesting. I couldn't go any further than 10 on the right, and I couldn't go any, f uh, I'm sorry, 10 from the end and 10 from the beginning. And there's a setting for that. Let's take a look. If I go to the splitter window, you'll see that the min pane size is 10. How about that? Let's bring that up to 20, shall we? And Notice here that the sash gravity, let's go back to this window. The sash gravity is at 0 0.5. 0.5 of 1 is 50%, right? You can think of it in percentages, if that makes it easier for you. What I would like is I would like the left pane to be the lion's share, and the right side would be where I might put tools or something. Much like in code blocks, check this out. My left side is where I have tools and stuff, and my right side is the lion's share. Well, I want it to be opposite. I'm going to go ahead and do 80%. And sash position 0. OK, let's give that a run. Hmm. Well, that's odd. I expected that to be at 80%. Let's try that again. There, huh? Well, uh, apparently there's something wonky going on here. Oh, well, apparently if I change the minimum size to 20, okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't understand why that's doing that. And at this point, I don't really care. What I wanted was for it to start at the 80%. And here we go. Um, 310, and there it is at 80%. Isn't that fantastic? OK, so uh, other than one hiccup with the minimum pain size, um, things worked out pretty well. The project worked pretty well. And I think that's probably long enough for this video. Uh, come back again to see more interesting stuff.